AJ, use these rails to get around. I'll drop hyper bombs at these locations. I'll start by dropping five hyper bombs on its chest. After 30 seconds, I'll drop five on its neck. After 60 seconds, I'll drop five on its back. After 90 seconds, I'll drop five on its right arm. After two minutes, I'll drop ten on its head. You'll have to detonate all of the hyper bombs in under three minutes. Alrighty, folks. Welcome to the final battle to save the city. Get a little bit of action here. This is a good spot. And I found out you can just throw a bomb up here. Toss a bomb there. Go. Then we go over here. Hear that, Agent? Move on over to its back. Let me take this rail. one stay there till we're ready I've warmed up but why aren't you playing some mean princess bones <laughs> come on now Yes, through the blades and a super jump here. Energy readings don't indicate a full charge, but it looks like it's going charge anyway. Number 10,008, no test subject has worked so hard to spoil my plans. But now you will blend into the perfect world with the professor. Farewell, 10,008. Farewell to you and that worthless cesspool of a city. I got it from here. Yo, local court's ready. Hey, yo, statue. Is she gonna do killer whale? Yep. Yeah, let's do the <laughs> rotate. Yeah, 888.8%. Very nice. Ugh. God. 
Professor. Our looking back. Wow. <laughs> hmm. And three is all like, huh? I guess, I guess Pearl is telling, telling Octo me about what's going on. Oh, we play this. All right, so here's the thing. I didn't complete all the tests, but that's fine because this, wow, this was something else. You know, I don't know if Satoru Iwata was able to get in on knowing like the blueprints to the second one because he had a big help. He had a big hand in the first one and we miss the late Iwata song. But if there's one thing that I take away from this cell block arc as I call it They definitely weren't kidding when they said it was hard. Of course the phone was gonna be the boss, I figured that much. So what happens next? Well, I'll probably off camera complete the rest of the trials. But as far as this goes, I have to say, compared to compared to hero mode, arc mode, man, a lot more serious. Which is good because as someone who played the first one and went through the second one, regular hero mode, regular hero mode had its challenges. But as you guys witnessed, throughout my playthrough, I went through hero mode without a game over. Yes, I died, but I didn't really get a game over going through hero mode. I'm probably one of a few YouTubers that has been able to go through Splatoon 2's hero mode without a game over. You know, that's, that's something I hold high in my head over even the popular YouTubers because many of the popular YouTubers actually had game overs in hero mode. But for me to get through it without a game over made me feel really good. Now, it would have been nice to get through this without getting a game over, but some of the challenges were just too hard. You know? Sure, the underground facility that was something else. And now you can't move anything else, folks. Unlike the hero mode credit. You know, unlike the underground facility, which was an interesting underwater subway system, getting out through the, the facility to get to the surface, that was crazy on its own. I mean, I got nothing against going to do the stealth missions. I like the stealth missions. But going up the stages was something else. Fighting Agent 3, that was expected. It's good to actually see that. And this statue thing, oh man, that was a challenge on its own. Whew. No true ending, unfortunately, but that's okay. I should have taken a picture of that. You can now play as an Octoling. You can switch between Inkling and Octoling in the player settings section of the options menu. Oh, okay. So it's, so you get this as soon as for clearing Octo mode. Good. 
and all of the mem cakes for stuff that I acquire, I can now use that gear as well, which is great. <laughs> oh, we start at the corners of the metro. Good. And just like that. So, of course, you can always go back down. It's been a while, Agent 8. Glad to see you're still alive and kicking. I got curious how things were down here, and you know, this place has grown on me. Where's who? Oh, Agent 3 had business to finish up and headed out back on patrol. If there's anything you've got left to do down here, I'll be glad to offer my support. Number 10,008. Nice, nice to have you aboard. We applaud all of your previous efforts. It seems you safely achieved your goals. Unfortunately, Kamabo Company is in disarray. But thankfully, Deep Sea Metro service has continued without interruption. All we do, we do for the satisfaction of our customers. Please allow me to announce a new service that we have just begun to offer. This service allows you to exchange CQ points for items. We have a nice selection of premium offerings that should prove quite useful. This service is available at Deep Sea Metro Central Station. I encourage you to stop by. This brings my announcement to a close. Safe travels, my friend. Have you noticed 10,008? Another new service, the MEM metal data has been added to the deep sea metro map. Stations marked with the MEM metal are worth a visit. Once you arrive, simply speak to me at the station platform. May your journey be a pleasant one. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. The blender's broken. Remember, huh? I guess I can go through the final fight all over again. Let's not do that, though. You need 15,000 CQ points to get an item. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> remember the fight, remember the light, or back. Interesting. Okay, so remembering the light is essentially the uh, end credits. That's fine by me. So there's more to the story even after you finish worthy finish things. So yeah, it feels good to actually do this. <sighs> What's this? Looks like a gift. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, this is all of my gear that I, uh, yeah. I only collected three sets of mem cakes, so I only got three sets of gear. Wow, that is amazing art. That's amazing art. That was very amazing art. Very amazing art indeed.
<laughs> Guess the old, you start with the old stuff, that's fine. Well, it's good to be out of the octoling disguise, man. Or out of the inkling disguise. Really good. That's nice. <laughs> Feels real good. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> Everything you keep, man. Feels good, man. But yeah, we're going to keep this because we're not doing the boba 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 fro. Alrighty then. Let's take a look at the shops. Maybe they'll have some change here. Nothing new in the shop. Nothing new at all. Okay. Let's see what happens when an op goes down to hero mode. You know I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. Okay, so if a knot goes into hero mode, you get <laughs> you go back to squid form. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Squid for hero mode, oc for oc mode. Well, folks, that concludes Cell Block Oc. I hope you've enjoyed my play through the trials and everything that I've gone through. And if you guys have enjoyed yourselves, remember to show your love with the like button. And as always, thank you for every like and favorite, comment and share, and subscribe to the channel. I still have some weapons to display in Splatoon 2, so there's more to come. So, be sure to subscribe and turn on those mobile notes. So when the real me is ready to take on Turf War in all of my octoling glory, You'll be ready to go alongside myself, and I appreciate you being here every step of the way. Raise your thumbs if you enjoyed this one. Now let me take my goose from the oven, because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.